honestly i'm so so tired i was hacked again and it's so painful right now i need help help me subscribe to karen utv i'm going to give some easy steps on how you can protect your account from hackers yes a lot of you have been having issues of people hacking your accounts so i have one very easy step that i feel most people do not know i decided to share it in this video so you can learn it and do it immediately so follow the steps that i'm about to show you right now to protect your account from being hacked either facebook or instagram using your phone you go through these three lines and then you go to settings and privacy you go to settings again and then you see security and login when you get to security and login you go to two-factor authentication yeah this is it clicking the two-factor authentication it is very much recommended as you can see they will ask you select a security method so authentication app and this recommended use an app such as google Authent authenticator or dual mobile to journey but let's go for text message so we are going for text message continue and then this is my number the number if there is no number here you can add the phone number and you continue so i'm going to get a six digit code will be sent to my number you can see i've gotten it and it's 646897 646897 so i'm going continue so now for your security please enter your password again to continue i'm going to enter my password I just entered my password and then you can see my two-factor authentication is on they said we'll send a verification code to this number if we notice an attempted login from a device or browser that we do not recognize for added protection this number can can't be used to reset your password when two-factor verification is on done as you can see guys my two-factor verification authentic my two-factor authentication is on and then my security method on how i can get codes is through my phone number so you can as well do this there's also a, a backup method which is you can use recovery codes which will be sent to me or you receive a login code via an authentication app so let's use recovery codes let's use this so you can see here are codes that you can use whenever you want to log into your account these codes will be sent to you you can copy the codes and save them on your phone screenshot it and these codes can only be used once you can see use recovery codes to log in if you lose your phone or can't receive a verification code via text message or an authentication app each code can only be used once save your codes in a safe but accessible place these are codes that you can use so i copied it and i saved it on my phone so that's that you can do your two-factor verification for twitter all you have to do is go to settings and privacy and then you go to accounts under accounts you go to security and on that security you can see two-factor authentication i'm going to go through the text message and then you can see protect your account with two-factor authentication in just two steps verify your phone number and receive a text message enter the confirmation code to turn on your two-factor authentication so let's get started so guess that i have to enter my twitter password to verify if it's really me okay so password entered now i'm going to enter my phone number so 
I click on next so a confirmation code will be sent to moi you can see I've gotten my confirmation code then you can see my phone is now activated you are all set you receive a text message with an authentication code to enter when you log into twitter they said i should save this single backup code in a safe place this backup code lets you log into twitter if you can't receive text message so that's that for twitter got it so my account is safe so you can see my backup code i can copy it it's already there or i can generate a new backup code so twitter gives just one backup code so you can see the backup code here now for your instagram it's almost the same thing you can see we have these three lines you go to your settings and you go to security and you can see your two-factor authentication and already my two-factor authentication is already on so i'll just go through the process all over again i come here i can as well change my phone number if i want to if i came to update my phone number or let me just put it off you can see they said we'll send a test message let me just put it off so we can start the process all over again so now i've put in my phone number they already said a six digit code will be sent to your number to finish setting up your two-factor authentication okay yeah it's here so you can see the number that was sent to me i will type in the number So the phone number is there. You can see they said we will not ask for a login code whenever you log in on a phone or computer we don't recognize. So your account is safe. They also sent some recovery codes. So I can use this code. I can you can see they said I can take a screenshot. So anytime I want to log in, I can use the code if I didn't get a test message from them, and the code can be used once just like on facebook you know facebook and instagram they work together so let's go to pc so guys if you're using your pc this is how you can set your two-factor verification code for facebook all you have to do is come to this arrow here go to settings and then you can see security login and then when you get to security login you can now see the two-factor authentication you click on it as usual you're using test message my phone number is already there so I'm going to continue with this so i have to put in the password that i used for this account so i logged in and my password has been sent to me so my two-factor authentication is on for my facebook using pc so for instagram you go through this arrow here go to general go to notification setting and then you look for privacy and security scroll down and you go to two-factor verification you click on edit two-factor sorry not verification authentication hmm. I'm just turning everything upside down and then you use text message I actually don't I don't have the SIM card for this but let's turn it on so 
a confirmation code will be sent to me and then I'm going to update it. So the code has been sent to me, so I'm going to update it. Guys, everywhere is noisy. Due to generator. This country, they don't want to give us light. So now it's loading. And so my settings have been saved. These are all my backup codes just in case I want to log into my Instagram. I can get new codes or they can always send me a code whenever I want to log into my account. So that's that for Instagram. So we just logged into the Twitter. I'm going straight up to settings and privacy. And then quickly I am going to security. And here you have it, the two-factor verification authentication. Oh, I keep saying, I keep saying verification. So here it is. I'm going to use via test message, and oh, there's no email address. All right, I get. So I was asked to confirm an email. So, but just know that when you click here. When you click here you're going to put in your phone number once you put in your phone number they'll send you a code once they send you a code then you put in that code once you put in that code you can now be able to use the two-factor authentication they'll tell you your account your two your two-factor authentication is already like in order this is going to take another process but i'm sure what i did on my mobile you can be able to do it same thing with, with your computer so that's that for now please try as much as possible to do your two-factor authentication so that you don't have anybody hacking into your account honestly if you follow those basic tips i'm not sure you're going to have any problem with any of your social media accounts being hacked <laughs>